Many people choose to leave their PC powered on all the time for the convenience. So how much electricity will you end up using and how much will it cost you? I'll cover all of this and more in today's video. Hey everyone, it's Chris here from HomeNetworkGeek.com where we talk about everything home networking. If you enjoyed the video and find it helpful, it'd be great if you could drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring the bell to turn on notifications. Now let's jump straight in with how much electricity you can expect a typical PC to use. Now unfortunately, there isn't a single answer to this question, but you can expect your average PC to use between 65 and around 250 watts of power. A laptop will tend to use considerably less, at around 15 to 60 watts. Now that is quite a large range, which depends on a few influencing factors, which we'll discuss later in the video. Even if your PC is left powered on, providing it goes into standby or sleep mode, it will actually use very little electricity, especially when you compare it to your usage across the rest of your home. You can save a lot more electricity by addressing the heavy hitters like heating and lighting, rather than obsessing over whether you should leave your PC powered on overnight. Even if you use your PC quite a lot, its overall energy usage is actually not a huge amount in the grand scheme of your total usage. That being said, it's not worth leaving it powered on just for the sake of it, as you just end up wasting money this way. My recommendation is to have your PC go to sleep automatically when it's not being used. Setting it to sleep after around 15 minutes of inactivity will keep it powered on and ready to use should you need it. But it's also an easy way of saving on both electricity and money. The main factors that influence how much power your PC uses are the components inside the PC itself and what you use it for. When it comes to components, a high-end gaming PC that uses top-of-the-line parts will use more electricity than your basic laptop that has a low-power CPU and integrated graphics. And in terms of how you use your PC, just because you have a large and powerful 750 watt power supply doesn't necessarily mean that all of that is being used all the time. It's likely to come with some built-in power saving features that will automatically lower its energy usage when it's either sitting idle or even performing basic tasks like browsing the web. But if you're performing more intensive tasks like mining for Bitcoin, you'll definitely end up using more electricity than someone that's just typing up a document or browsing the web, even if the same PC is used for the same number of hours per day. Leaving your PC powered on all the time is generally considered safe, especially when you consider the quality control checks that go into components these days. Many people believe it's better to leave your PC powered on all the time, as the frequent startups and shutdowns can have an effect on the components and even reduce their lifespan. Looking at this on the other side, you could imagine that leaving it powered on all the time is going to have greater wear and tear on the components over time. So, should you leave your PC powered on? It really does come down to how often you make use of it. If you use it multiple times per day, every day of the week, you're probably better off leaving it on. But if you're only using it for a short period of time, like an hour or two once per day, you might be better off powering it down when you're finished. Leaving your PC powered on all the time is going to be less stressful for the components compared with the frequent startups and shutdowns, but there is still a constant stress nonetheless. Each and every time your PC powers up, there is a small surge in power where all the components kick into action. Now this surge, although small, occurring multiple times a day, could potentially reduce your PC's lifespan. Many people will argue that the concept of startups and shutdowns affecting the PC's components is outdated given the quality of the components that are used these days. So here are a few reasons as to why you might want to keep your PC powered on all the time or power it down. So reasons to keep your PC powered on. Number one, you don't want to have to wait for it to start up each time. Number two, you want to be able to access it remotely. And number three, you want background tasks to run when it's not being used, like updates or backups. And so some reasons to turn your PC off at the end of the day. Number one, the sound it produces can be disturbing depending on what's being done at the time. Number two, an occasional reboot is good for ongoing performance. And number three, it can have an effect on your electricity usage and increase your bill at the end of the month. Personally, I like to keep my PC powered on all the time, but I will make sure it goes into sleep mode when I'm not using it. This keeps it ready to use without the wear and tear and doesn't have a great impact on my electricity usage or my energy bills. To calculate how much it would cost you to leave your PC powered on, you need to use this formula. So it is wattage multiplied by hours used divided by 1000 multiplied by price per kilowatt hour. That gives you your cost of electricity. As an example, let's assume your PC uses around 200 watts of power. The average cost of electricity in the US is around 13.31 cents per kilowatt hour. So using this formula, you can expect to pay around $233 
to keep your PC powered on 24 seven for the entire year. Now let's say you have a laptop that uses considerably less power at around 50 watts. Using the same formula, you can expect to pay around $58. Again, this is to keep it powered on and running 24 seven, 365 days of the year. Now, of course, the cost of electricity does vary depending on where you live in the world. So if you follow the link to the article in the description box below, you'll see I've put up a few tables there which compare the cost of electricity in a few different places and it'll hopefully give you an idea on how much you can expect to pay to keep your PC running. So to wrap up the video, how much electricity a PC uses and how much it will cost depends on the type of components that are used, what you end up using the PC for, and the cost of electricity where you live. Now there are reasons for and against leaving your PC powered on all the time, but I personally like to keep mine powered on and readily available. Yes, it does cost that little bit extra at the end of the month, but personally for me, I find the convenience to be worth it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you did, it'd be great if you could drop it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell to turn on notifications. Don't forget to head on over to homenetworkgeek.com where I've got a ton of articles on everything home networking. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you next time.